this is um, uh, just a, um, a proposal for the original opera for the ACO concert. I'm working on some ballets for Armide, which takes the Baroque opera, Jean-Baptiste Lully, and it's casting it in post-war Iraq. A lot of uh, my music it involves aspects of Baroque music with certain compositional strategies that I've developed over the past 10, 15, 20 years, which involve fractal geometry. I will take fragments of Baroque music and I'll recast them in such a way using workings that are based on, on uh, recursive uh, structures. Today, I'll be uh, working with a, uh, a percussionist, a hip-hop drummer. It's very much akin to what I'm doing with the, uh, with the 17th century music here, viewing them as, a, as an artifact. So what I get from the hip-hop drummer, I'll view as a, a type of a, a proto-material. DJ, how's it going? How you doing? Good. Okay. What do you got for me, dude? All right. You want to like straight like that or sort of? Could it be um? Yeah, yeah. Simpler on on the two. Lazier, drunker, yeah. Yeah. This basic idea that I'm, I'm trying to articulate right now of having music unfold at different speeds is something that I could just sit down and compose. I could, could, could create this all on my own. But if I have some structural elements that are from an outside source, it tends to be the right type of, uh, of grit that end up composing against the grain slightly. And that's when really interesting things pop up. This is trickier, yeah. Right. Each of the different divisions of that, of that beat, of that hip hop beat, mm -hmm. will then grab onto musical material and spin it out, a la Elliot Carter, into different areas. Right. Now look. That sort of vibe. Can you notate what you just played? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you room shots in our eighth notes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got it. I got it. That's all I need. Yeah. Yeah. You won't recognize it when you hear it again, though. That's cool. <laughs>